Ron Jones, I'm Dan Johnson. Tell me a little bit about this airplane. Well, this is the uh, SNS-8 Hyperlite, uh, just like the Sorrells designed it in 1982. Uh, the difference on this one is it's got a, uh, a derivative of the half of VW engine. And this can one, I tilt the prop here a little bit? Yeah, the plugs are on. All right, wires are on. good, okay, so we can see it a little better. And uh, this one, uh, they only made a handful of them back in the mid-90s, but uh, it puts on honest 47 horsepower. 47? Really? Seven. And four-stroke. Four-stroke. Um, burns about a gallon and a half an hour. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to beat it for economy. Yeah, well, uh, and the engines are not particularly expensive to buy either, right? They're not. They're uh, no reason why you get them for under four grand. Four grand for, four for an aircraft, a four-stroke. Four stroke, 47 horsepower. 47 horsepower. Uh, those are some good numbers. Yeah, yeah, and it'll pull this thing along at 85 miles an hour without breaking a sweat. Uh, the only drawback is it's a little too heavy to meet part 103. Oh, okay, so this is so experimental amateur uh, built for this one. And you had the credential from FAA, so that's all good and proper? Correct. Okay, great. Tell me about then, as long as it's experimental amateur built, the builder's got to build it, what's he doing? Uh, basically, all he's doing is a lot of assembly, a lot of riveting. Uh, we do all the welding for him, all the machining. Okay. And uh, it's available in uh, a full kit, engine fabric, everything. Or we've got five sub kits. Okay, so you could start. You could start with just one part of it. Kind of a yeah. finance program there for right, you. Can start with the tail group and then go on to the wings and viral for it and so on. You just pay as you go, kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. How how do you support people to do that? Uh, well, uh, we've got uh, full complement of parts in stock. Uh, every now and then, somebody will ask for something that we don't have, and it might take a week or two to, uh, to get a replacement parts. But uh, normally, we're uh, either on the phone or we're available online. Replacement for factory support, technical help. Okay. And uh, build time for if uh, on this particular one with this engine, so that he does have to build it. What are we talking about? What's the work effort? Uh, with this one, with this engine, uh, we've got the stitch covering on this. So a guy with average fabric skills, you can build one in uh, between 350 and 400 hours. Okay. Still not too bad. So, so you got one that has some different uh, covering to it. Uh, we've uh, covered one with Oritex. Uh, it's, uh, it's real easy to work with. The stuff comes pre-colored. It's super easy to apply. Uh, it's basically, it's a two-step process. You've got contact cement, you paint your airframe, you paint your fabric, let it dry, come back the next day, lay your fabric on. Yeah. So it's not like a big rush to get it done in a certain no, small no, time period. In fact, you do want to wait a little bit, is that it? Right. All right, that, that's kind of cool. And uh, you just activate the glue with a hot iron, and from there ah, it's, that's it's, how it works, huh? it's okay. traditional covering methods, you know, heat shrinking, getting the wrinkles out, taping. Kind of Sounds like a lot easier than the uh, more conventional process. Though. It is. It uh, probably take you half the time as wow. the traditional stits. And you don't have to paint it. Right. It comes pre-colored uh, red, blue, yellow, white, uh, silver, and black. And you can, so can you mix those things up as you, you do can. it? Okay. So you, you can, can make you patterns can. on it? Right. You can get creative with it. Uh, so, uh, well, I would think a lot of people would go for that, except for the ones that are really into the uh, conventional style of yeah, doing it. It's a little pricier than the stitch. Well, of but course. You're, you're having to do less, so it would right. be more expensive. But at the end of the day, it's, it's pretty much a wash. As far well, as painting is kind of a challenge for a lot of people. It's a yeah. sort of art. Yes. And some people take it to somebody else to do it. Well, then you got to pay them. And if right. you do it yourself, you got to have a place and some equipment so you don't endanger yourself. And you know, it's kind of a big deal. A plane like this, it's real easy to have weight. People like this. Sure. Yeah, it's only it's, it's, uh, it's nice and lightweight. And with the, uh, the Sands of Terry engine, it's our standard one for the ultimate. The Vortex will keep it illegal if I want to real. Okay, all right. So with that, yeah, because you're not adding the weight of paint then. Right. And these aircraft have some history. This is not some fresh, fresh out of the box design. Is, right. This is actually a 35 year old design. Uh, the SNS 8 made its debut here at Oshkosh in 1982. 1982, the same year Part 103 came out. Right. And well, a couple the, of months uh, after that, actually. It was the second uh, certified, if you will, Part 103 ultralight that they recognized. Yeah, that's that's the exact term there. They recognized it, they didn't right. certify they didn't it. Certify. It's a little different game that way, but uh, that's cool. Uh, Ron, where are you located? And uh, then we'll ask you for a web address after that. But tell us where you are, how long you've been doing it first. Well, I'm in Southeast Michigan. Okay. And uh, I acquired the company, the tooling and manufacturing rights, in uh, early 2002. Okay. Uh, where do we find you on the web? 
Uh, my web address is www.hyperlightaircraft.com. Okay, that's pretty simple. All right, well, real good. You can find lots more about all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Ron Jones and I here in the ultralight area of AirVenture Oshkosh.